Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make baby barefoot sandals. This is something that any mom can make. Um, it's something very easy, would take about 20 minutes or less. Um, all you need is some paper, pen, fabric, uh, stretchy elastic, and I would recommend a small spatula, a fork, and a glue gun and scissors and a needle and thread. Um, to start off, we're gonna doodle on some paper and what you'll do is just make these um, chunky looking flowers or you could think of them as bubbly T's or crosses. Uh, you're gonna cut a large one and a smaller one and I just actually went inside the larger one and made a smaller one so that they would be similar. Um, then what you're going to do is trace 10 of the larger ones on fabric and then trace two of the smaller one. After you cut those out, you're going to take your flowers and this is how you're going to make them look a little um, frayed on the edges. You're going to take the fork and you're gonna pretend like you're pulling chicken. What this is gonna do is fray the edges. It's also gonna help curl up the edges just a little bit. So you're gonna do that on all of the flowers that you've cut out. You'll just go around, it's super easy, just pull on the fabric and you can do as much and as little as you want um, and it's really an easy uh, trick. So you're going to take your flower, take one petal and you're going to leave this one flat. So we're going to start off with a flat one. Do not fold this one, leave it flat. You're going to fold the next one and what I did as you can see I just kind of pinched it over so they're just kind of overlapping there. I'm going to lay this on top of the other one and just kind of making the petals in a different pattern than the one that's um, laying beneath it. I did the same thing here, I pinched it. I'm gonna lay it on top of that flower. And what I've done is I've ran my finger over my, um, where I folded it so that it'll stay. Same thing here, pinch this flower and I'm just gonna try and alternate the petals here. Okay, and one last one, folding it over. I'm going to place it and it takes a little bit just to kind of figure out where you want your petals to land. With the last one I am going to put this small flower and I'm just going to lay it on top here. Now holding um, your pet or your flower here in the middle, you're going to hold it with your finger. You're going to now take your needle and thread, and I'm just using embroidery thread. You're going to take the needle from behind here, run it through. You're going to kind of make a diagonal line. What we're going to do is make an X, and then we're going to make a little line in between the X so it looks kind of um, decorative. So there's my first line, diagonal across this one. This also is going to hold all of your folds in place. And then I'm going to do a little one in the center here so that it just doesn't look like an X. There we go. I'm going to knot it off in the back, sliding it under one of these loops here. It's an easy way to make a knot. And I'm gonna do one more just for safe measures. You're going to snip this. Done with your needle and thread for that flower. Next, I'm gonna set the flower aside and we're gonna go on to making the actual barefoot sandal. If you can see, I have a shiny side and I have a dull side. I want the shiny side to show on the foot. This is where your spatula is going to come into hand. It kind of looks like a foot as is. So instead of putting this on and off a of baby while you're using hot glue, which is really silly, why don't we use just something that looks like this? So if you can't find something like this, maybe a fork, maybe a serving spoon, something that resembles a foot. What you're going to do is lay the foot down if the toes were at this, this end here. You're going to run the fabric in the middle, like so. You're going to cross this over, so almost like we're crossing it over the foot here. We're going to go up the ankle now, 
and we're going to touch these two together. What you can do at this point is hold them like this in place, put a little dab of hot glue here. Now I pre-measured my my um, elastic to make sure that it would fit around my child's foot. I just crossed it the same way I did here. Um, you could probably search for some measurements. Willow measures around a nine and a half or 10 inch elastic. You're gonna take it off of the spatula. You're done using the spatula at this point. You're gonna even out these so that they're the same um, width. You want this seam here to be covered by the flower. You want your two pieces to meet together and you want them to be about the same around so kind of level those out and what you're going to do is put a dab of glue behind this seam so that it touches the other seam here so I'm going to go ahead and do that not a lot just a little and I'm going to hold those together so that the glue sets and we're almost done one last simple step this will go on the ankle, this will go under the foot. So now what we're going to do is cover that seam with the flower that we made. We are just going to put a dab of glue here and where that seam is. Then we will press the flower on in the center and hold it so it stays. And there you have a barefoot sandal. These look really cute on baby and just a onesie. You can dress up a onesie. You can also make this flower and attach it to a headband that matches this and you have a whole set. So if you have any questions or have, um, you need help with something that maybe I didn't cover, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Also, uh, check out my website, modmommyblog.com, and we will be giving away these exact pair that I made today. Thanks for watching.